<laughs> so, here I am, in my hospice. What a strange thing. You don't think you're <laughs> gonna go <laughs> sort out your hospice before you, you cark it? But here we are. This um, very nice spot is apparently where I'll maybe spending some time in the future. They seem like nice people, so that's good. <laughs> Amazing. Hi everybody. Um, as you can perhaps see from the introduction, um, we've been to visit the Totra Hospice, which is a very strange thing to do. Well, at least as far as I'm concerned, it seems like a strange thing to do. It's not something I ever expected to do. It's not really the sort of thing you think about planning, I don't, I don't think, for most people. But luckily I'm in the position where I, I can do planning for this kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I've been to visit my hospice. Um, and because part of the, the purpose of these videos is to uh, help explain what it's like to go through this process, what it's like, did I say life or like? What it's like to go through this process, um, I, I thought it was important to talk about what um, the hospice does for you. And um, in, in essence, they are a, a yet another support team. Um, I think you find if, if, you, if you get a terminal illness, you tend to get pretty well looked after, um, at least in New Zealand, at, at no cost. And um, the, the hospice people are another example of that. Um, what they do for me is, uh, primarily I think their focus, and I've only had a few meetings with them, but primarily their focus is to try and make my life easy um, and to take away pain. Uh, that's one of the, the prime, the, the primary skills. And they have um, a bit of advantage over, you know, my GP and, um, and the oncologists at Auckland Hospital in that they actually have the time to work through various uh, options to see what works and what doesn't work and what we could try instead with a bit of a higher turnover um, than your three weekly meeting with the oncologists. Yeah, the, so the hospice team are you know, trying to make my life easy and, 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 and making the process of dying easy. Yeah. <sighs> um, so for example, they um, can provide you with my advanced care plan, where you, I'll grab my glasses because it's important to see my advanced care plan, where I plan the health care that I want in the future and for the end of my life. Um, it helps me, I have to complete this form. It, it's, it's not a form you complete in a hurry, typically, as, as I understand it. People can take quite a long time to complete this. Um, how, you know, describe the things that I'm worried about. And, you know, one of the things that that I do worry about is being a burden to, to, to people. I don't want to be a burden to people, but at the same time, um, I'm not in a hurry to kill myself. <laughs> um, don't want to die alone. I think there's not much chance of that happening. Um, I, I care about the impact that my death will have on my family. And it saddens me greatly. Um, it seems rather unfair that they should have to go through this. What, ma what matters to me, what makes me happy, what brings me pleasure, what do I like to spend my time doing, what makes a day meaningful, meaningful. Do I have cultural, spiritual, religious beliefs? No, I don't. Um, what are other things that are important to you? you know, being hugged or having your hand held? I can assure you that being hugged and having your hand held are possibly the most important things in the world. Um, when I was having my operation to have my kidney removed right at the start of this, this process, um, I, I asked my children to hold my hands, to hold my hand. And um, it was one of the most wonderful experiences of my life was holding their hands. So, here, yeah. the, um, they make you think about what you want to do. Uh, things like how you want to react or interact with your doctor. You want to know only the basics or do you want to know every little detail there is about your condition? Um, 
do you want the, the doctors to, to do whatever it is they think is best or do I want to be involved in, in every decision? And, and yes, I want to be involved in every decision. Um, yeah, when it comes to sharing information, I don't want my loved ones to know anything about my health or I'm comfortable with, with my loved ones and everybody on YouTube knowing about my health. Um, if I'm unable to make decisions, who should make decisions on my behalf? Um, what would the ideal death look like? It's tricky there, figuring that out. I have started um, looking for songs. It's a bit of a challenge because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Prince fan and Prince went through some silly religious phase which is unfortunate because he's got some beautiful songs but um, some of those words are too much for me. Yeah, it's a very beautiful document and I don't, I don't describe documents as being beautiful very often. I don't think I've ever ex ex described a document as being beautiful but this is a damn fine one. Um, so if, if you or someone you know is terminally ill, get them to get a hold of this advanced care plan and a guide from your local hospice. Uh, so I've, I've been having more problems as, 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 I, as I want to do. So the, in the last video I talked about my, my throat being all choked up and um, uncomfortable. But that progressed to fairly heavy vomiting so most days most days I'd vomit a couple of times two or three times a day for a week it was probably when it was at its worst so we went on a mission to try and find some medication that would help with that which is has been fairly successful um, had some some weird anxiety problems which were came as a byproduct of that medication <laughs> So I was just, I would spend the night worrying and fretting and freaking, sorry, and I was worrying about things, I was worrying about everything and anything and nothing, like if you were to ask me what was it that I was worrying about, I couldn't give you an answer, <laughs> I don't know, but boy was it a worry. Um, so yes, I found some medication to help with that. And so, Right at the moment, um, oh, we also found out I had a, a bone density uh, test taken to see if that has anything to do with the pain in my back. Um, and it turns out that, yeah, I do have rather poor bone density. Uh, it's unrelated to the cancer, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. But, but that's quite good news to find out that out now because as, as the uh, my cancer has spread into my bones, you know, because it's gone into my spine, therefore it's now in my bones. Um, having strong bones is a, a helpful thing to try and stop it or slow it down. So I've got some medication that I will be going on that will make my bones really very hard, um, which is awesome, unless you need to go to the dentist. <laughs> because if you need to go to the dentist and your teeth are really, really, really hard, there's not much they can do. So, um, on Saturday, I have to go to the dentist and um, get any work done that might need to be done in the next year or so, because it won't be able to done, be done when I'm on this medication. So I was a bit annoyed, really, because I was kind of hoping I'd get away with never having to go to the dentist ever again. <laughs> that, was, that was a hugely admirable goal, but um, yeah, not for me. Apparently, I do get to have one last hurrah, one last farewell and sensation of feeling ripped off. So. Yeah, that's probably about it. That's probably my story. Um, visit, visit your hospice at the start of your journey, not at the end, okay? It seems like a pretty good piece of advice. Yeah, they seem to be really nice people who are very keen to help. So I recommend them. All right, cheers. Bye guys. <coughs> yes, there's a few tears in there. <laughs> that's all right. One more thing, I've got one more thing. I've developed a new hobby. Lock picking. <laughs> Who knew this was a thing? But you can buy lock picks and um, little tensioners and 
I don't know if I can do this on screen or not, but you put the lock together, put in your tensioner. Bit like this, maybe something like a rake. And there we go. Oh, I swear I had it. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so yes. Ah, oh, fuckity. Fuckity. My deck has gaps in it about that big. <laughs> about big enough for a tensioner to fall down. Then you get these training locks. See these training locks so you can see inside them and watch how the pins move up and down. Anyway, it's a it's a fun little hobby. I'm enjoying it. Ah, now I gotta now I gotta get that, <laughs> that tension back. Oh well. Bye guys. <laughs>